to our colleagues around the state of Minnesota. We are here today to share with you some of our uh, experience with uh, public-private adoption initiative or uh, PPAI. I am Sue Tangy, Social Services Supervisor for Aiken County in Child Protection and with me today is my colleague Deb Tuper who has been a Child Protection Social Worker in our agency for well over 20 years. Um, first of all, to start out, Deb, uh, tell us which agency you used. Um, for the case we're talking about, I used Wendy's Wonderful Kids. And what kinds, uh, what, tell us a little bit about, about this case and, and uh, what kind of family you were looking uh, for permanency. This was a sibling group. There were originally five siblings that were together with their mother. The three oldest ones got removed and they were initially placed together, but then we found out that there was um, some sexual play going on between those children um, instigated by the oldest ones. So we asked DHS to consider sibling separation, and over time they agreed to that. So we wound up looking for two separate adoptive homes for this sibling group of three. Um, from your perspective, Deb, how did the private agency go about its work? Like, for example, getting to know the child, learning about the child's birth family, identifying the child's needs, etc. The I think that Wendy's Wonderful Kids did a, a terrific job with this. They were able to um, have communications with the child without having the face of child protection there asking them questions. and. They were also able to do the same thing with the parent. They were able to get more information than we would have been able to from that parent because by then she was scared of, of the system and what was happening. So it was great that they could access that type of information. They had face-to-face -face contacts with the kids at least once a month. They worked on life books with the kids and um, they sifted through their known um, adoptive families to get a pool for us to look at. We screened probably 26 um, foster adoptive home studies looking for homes for these kids and we narrowed it down to two. And uh, so the oldest one was placed in one home and the two younger ones were placed together in another home. As it turned out, the two homes had a relationship with each other that wasn't known when we first started with Wendy's Wonderful Kids. So the kids now are able to enjoy still spending holidays and birthdays and having contact with each other because of this connection between these families. As you were working uh, through this process, uh, the PPAI process, do you recall, it was a couple of years ago, um, do you recall how, what our judge uh, knew about this process um, and it, what he understood about this process? Um, the judge was kept informed that we were working our way through the process. He was told that we were looking at a number of possibilities for adoptive homes and that I was doing some traveling to do face-to-face -face interviews along with the Wendy's Wonderful Kids social worker. Um, with these families, I think I saw six different families and traveled well over 2,000 miles across Minnesota trying to find the right match and I think we found a really good match. Um, the judge was extremely patient with us, but I think he realized that we were doing our best to try to find a right, ki right fit for these kids. Uh, what advice would you give to other counties about the PPAI? Um, well, first of all, the, the agencies that you go for, they do the front end work for us. It's still our responsibility as the county case managers to make sure that this is the best fit for the kids we're working for and that um, we are the ones who make the final decision and choices about the families that we place these kids with. Um, they can only help us go so far, but the ones I've worked with have done a terrific job at it. My recollection is that uh, uh, Wendy's Wonderful Kids took some of the burden off of our case manager off of Deb so that she could concentrate on other activities of permanency. And so w with this particular case, it was a good match of public and private. And so there you have it, a uh, uh, explanation of PPAI. I hope that your agencies will also be able to use this process and have success with it. Thank you and have a good conference.